clicking all by itself, you seem to make some big plays on the defensive end and leading that into offense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one, of the, one of the first things that Coach said to us when we went in the locker room um, after the game that, that we did well is, um, you know, when we were in New York and our offense wasn't clicking, we kind of gave up easy baskets, gave up offensive rebounds, um, and didn't shut them down the defensive end. And tonight, I think we made a step forward in that, in that area where, you know, it was, it was a rough offensive game, you know, down the line for all of us. And um, when games like that, you got to step up on D and, and get the necessary stops and, and at times turn your defense into offense. And we were able to do that. And uh, we picked it up there in, in the second half, and that's where we pushed the lead to 12 and then ended up winning the game. Is that what the kind of the press does for you, is, is try to get it get the ball? Yeah, right? it does. I mean, as you guys know, we, we've been running that since I've been here. And mm -hmm. it kind of just you know makes them think a little bit more, um, makes them play side to side rather than um, north and south. And uh, we got some deflections out of it. Uh, we rebounded well out of it, and we ran the floor a little bit better today than we did over the weekend. A step forward tonight? Mm, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we won, so um, I think we righted the wrong, and you know, we we didn't do what we, we needed to do defensively in, in um, New York, and tonight we did. So um, I've been playing for quite a while, and I've never been mad after a, a win. So I'm not mad today, and it's definitely a step forward. What was it maybe out of New York that you guys wanted to try to improve upon? And was there anything specific for What's you uh, coming out of New York into this game and then this week and kind of getting ready for the season? Is it, what, what did you find out that you wanted to maybe make some strides um, in? Just executing, um, taking, taking better care of the basketball, which uh, early on I didn't do a good job of and neither did a couple of the other guys. But I mean, we finished the game with 12 turnovers. And it's not great. It's not bad. Um, but just executing. Um, yeah, we just need, just need to keep you know playing our game and keep executing and keep listening to the coaches and, and trusting each other and um, we'll be all right. I mean, it wasn't a, it was an ugly win, but it was a win, so I'm happy with it and we're gonna keep getting better. Did the team respond fairly well coming back from New York and practice and everything? Yeah, I think we did. Um, you never want to go somewhere and play on national TV and, and lose two games, obviously. Um, but what are you gonna do? You can't sulk and you can't. Um, dwell on it. You got to get better. You got to, you know, realize what you did well, realize what you did did bad, and and just move forward. And that's what we were able to do. And um, I don't think the game was ugly because we were thinking about New York or we were dwelling on anything. I just think it was one of those games where it was just a little, a little sloppy. We weren't making our shots. Um, didn't take care of the ball early. Let the press get get us sped up a little bit early. But uh, we turned it around. And, I mean, that's a good team. Uh, it's tough to come off. You know, we played back to back in New York. You fly, you fly back, and you got a two day prep for a team that's that's good. They got a returning first team all all big, or all player, all league player, and in, in Davis, and they got good guards, um, a good big, and um, it was a good team we played. So good win. How big was Mike's play tonight? <clears throat> yeah, I'm really happy for Mike. Um, yeah, I know people can be hard on him, missing late free throws and turning the ball over and missing shots, and that's all part of the game. And we understand that as players, but sometimes you need a game like this personally to get yourself going, get your confidence back. And um, you know, I took a brief, brief look at the stats: three for three from three, four for four from the line. Uh, he played his game um, early on. You know, he had a couple, couple turnovers because he was trying to make the perfect play. He was trying to set, set us up. And as the game went on, I think he did a good job of taking what the defense gave him, and they weren't stopping the transition. He was driving to the hole. If he drove to the hole and got stopped, he, you know, he kicked it out. Um, and like I said, he made a shot, so that's, that's a big time game for him. And hopefully, he can carry that over into the rest of the season. Did you talk to him at all on the flight back or at any point? Because I mean, he was three for 15 in New York. No, I didn't. Um, yeah, I might have said something to him during shoot around or something. Yeah, just play your game. But I mean, he's he's a good player. He's been here. This is his third year. He's he's had great success with us, and he sh he shot the ball you know well up into a, a streak last year and. You can't let that roll over, you know. I remember, I don't know if it was Dev's junior year or sophomore year when he went through the slump, and you guys asked him a million questions about it. You know, what's going on? What do you have to do to write it? And it's just the game. I mean, you just got to keep playing. You got to keep picking your spots, shoot, the, shoot your shots. And Dev got out of it. Mike got out of it. That's just in the flow of basketball. Guys that shoot perimeter jump shots are going to not make all of them. I mean, there's going to be streaks of good and bad. So.